everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is elizabeth davis if you're new here today i'm going to be transforming my bedroom into its christmas decor so i'm really excited so i thought i would vlog it a little bit um it's not gonna be anything too crazy i just wanted to like i don't know i like to watch back my vlogs every year me decorating my room to see how i did things the previous year so i thought it'd be fun to share that with you guys too and then at the end, we'll do a little tour. So like I said, not gonna be anything too extravagant, but to start, I'm going to take my tree out of its box and I think this is a Martha Stewart tree, if I remember correctly. I really hope this is, yeah, okay. For some reason, I thought it wasn't lit. So here she is, my little four footer. And I just want to say that I'm like not excited to decorate this. So hopefully I get excited. I don't know why I'm not excited. Normally I'm like, can't wait. Like I decorate it like November 1st. It is almost Thanksgiving and I still have not done it yet. Since it's only four feet, I think I'm going to put it on this little stand next to my, or in the place where the green plant was before this. I think it's gonna fit. I don't know, it might be too small. That isn't a perfect fit and I don't know what is. taking a little break and I have up the tree but I just feel like it needs something else probably a topper would help also the side that I'm on there's not as many decorations so I feel like if I put some more decor on my side like facing my bed I might feel like I like it a little bit more I also don't want to add any more because it means I have to dig out more hooks and put more hooks on and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I hate digging the hooks out and then they all get hooked together, you know? It's not the, that's the unfun part. So I'm calling it with the tree. I am finished decorating with it. Now I just have a few more things to put up and then I'll do the tour. All right guys, so it is now the next day. I have finished decorating and I did want to show you guys the tour. So I'm really excited. I love how it turned out. I do think that I'll probably add another small thing or two just to give it a little extra, you know, pizzazz. But uh, let's get started. So when you walk in, here is Z overview. Just a really quick scan for you here. Um, also another disclaimer. Uh, I have to do laundry, so please uh, don't judge me for that. I was going to move it out of my room, but then I'm like, no, it's part of my room. I'm going to leave it in here. I'm going to leave it in the vlog. So it's not the most aesthetic thing, but it's also real life. And real life isn't always... 
perfect. So, and all right, so let's start. So over here, this is my little beauty area. Um, I do my makeup here. I have a mirror on the floor. Um, I moved it because it's ugly. So of course it doesn't really look better down there, but it's better than up here. Um, so this candle is actually um, a fall candle, but I left it out because I love it. It smells so good. And then my brushes in my mug. Um, I got this in England in 2016, if you can believe that. Here, let me turn it. So I got that at Starbucks in 2016. And then I have these roses from Aldi. They are super pretty, um, but they're kind of starting to wilt a little bit, as you can tell. Um, fun fact about the mug is I went to Starbucks and we bought the mugs and I left my mug there and thank God people in England are very honest because someone found it and turned it in and then I was like oh my gosh I forgot my mugs we were like a block away like we had walked a block and then we were we turned around and went and got it so they still had it there which was really nice but Oh my gosh, so many crazy things happened on that trip. I'll have to do a story time during Vlogmas and tell you guys more about that trip because that was just one of the things. So then over here is my tree. I think it turned out so cute. I do need a topper, but I don't know. I'm not really into tree toppers, so um, I don't think I'm going to do that, but it's really cute. And then this mitten is from the Dollar Tree. A lot of my decorations are from the Dollar Tree. So like the Santa belt is from the Dollar Tree. A lot of the glittery ones are from the Dollar Tree and some of like the matte, they're not really matte, but the shiny ones without the glitter. These are my mom's. She's letting me use them this year. Thank you, mom. And then some, I think I have like one or two sparkly bulbs that are hers. And then I think the Santa belt bulbs are so cute. I love them. And then this is a decoration my friend Peyton made for me last year. She uh, gave all of us, uh, all of our friends, one of these, and I think they're super cute. And then um, these bells I've had since I was little. We've had them. They're from also my mom's, but she's had them forever. And every year they go on some form of Christmas decoration. And this year they're on my tree, so I think that's pretty exciting. And then I have my mirror that I have been wanting to mount for a long time. But I think it looks kind of cute on the floor next to the tree like that. And then my tree is sitting on this stand that's also my mom's. She's given it to me and let me use it for the Christmas season. And then my mirror. I moved it. I moved my mirror here. It was previously here. And then I don't even know where it was before that. Somewhere that didn't make any sense. Um, but right here I like it because I'll be able to do like OOTDs. And then I also got a new bed um, earlier this year in the summer. And I need a bed skirt for it. So if you guys have any ideas of where I can get a cute bed skirt for a queen size bed, let me know. Um, probably could get one pretty much anywhere. But So then this way, we'll go back to the bed. But here's my clothing rack. Um, I would like to still revamp this. I think I talked about it in my fall decor video. I think I did clean it off a little bit, but I did get some new stuff. So it pretty much went back to square one. Um, I got some new belts and things and some new hats as well. So it's just kind of haphazardly thrown there, but we'll figure that out later. Maybe I'll do a video about it. Then I just have my red fur coat hanging since like I'm doing like a red theme. And plus this is like my favorite fur coat, um, even probably more so than the pink one, which I love my pink fur coat so, so much, but this one is just, I don't know. It's iconic, honestly. I mean, so is the pink one, but this one, uh, I just, it's sentimental to me because it was one of my first fur coats. So, you know, that's why I love it. And then this is my newest one. And this one's from Forever 21. I might do a haul with my new Forever 21 purchases. So stay tuned for that as well. This fur is from my aunt. She gave this to me. And I honestly, like I'm getting so many video, video ideas just with these few items on this rack. I wanna do maybe a how to style fur coats, you know, for the winter. I have some shoes down here. My purple boots, love my purple boots, had those for a while. This is another area I'd like to revamp because I have a lot of shoes and I wear all these like on a regular basis. So that's why they're all in here, but like, the black sandals and the clear ones I'm probably not going to wear until, you know, the spring. So I could probably move those, but 
moving on. Um, oh, and I did want to also add that these black felt hangers I just got at Big Lots. I think they were like a pack of 12 for like literally $5. So I need to get some more though because like this one's not on a black one and then this one is not either. Or this one, it's the Forever 21 coat that I just got. But I mean, they're still on you know, something that doesn't really clash. It's not like it's like a bright blue hanger or something. So, but I do want to get some more so that everything's extremely cohesive. And then obviously that is a bit of, I don't know, it's not working. I need to figure something out. But, and over here we have one of my windows and I have this stool, which actually I used to use it there. Oh, that just looks terrible. I used to use it here, but, um, I switched it because my grandma gave me a new chair with a back on it and it's much more comfortable than this stool. So I'm probably gonna end up moving the stool, but for now I like it because my big, huge, gigantic purse can sit on it. So that's really nice. And then my curtains, I believe I got at TJ Maxx and then the stranded lights are from Big Lots. Um, those have been hung there as both items for quite a while. So nothing new there. Probably gonna get some new curtains at some point next year, but for now I do like them. They match with pretty much any vibe I would go for in my room, but I would like to update them. Then over here is my dresser, and I did a little bit of Christmas decor here, but not too much. That's my water, I need to keep drinking water. I'm not drinking enough today. <laughs> but um, this wreath my mom is also letting me borrow for the Christmas season. And I think it looks really cute right there. My dad put it up, you would have seen that when I was decorating. So yeah, I like that, looks really good. And then here I have just a little display. I have a tea light here with a red little tea light candle in there. And then this plant, which I also had in my fall video, but it wasn't really displayed very well. This is uh, this Voss, <laughs> this Voss, the Voss is from Big Lots. And then these little greeneries my mom gave to me. I don't know where she got them. I wanna say like maybe Amazon or something. And then um, I have a book display. So this book is something that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I am I only read it a little bit. I haven't finished it yet. It's really good though. So I definitely recommend that. This is a book that was my great aunt's. She passed away a few years ago and then my uncle gave this to me like literally like probably a month ago. So I put it here to display it. I think it looks really nice along with my Spanish Bible that my friend got for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. These are my glasses, got them from Glasses USA, it's a website that sells prescription glasses. You can customize your own glasses, which is really nice. And they're for a good price, so I like them. And then my Forever 21 sunglasses, which I just got. And then obviously my TV, nothing exciting there. Dresser, my gosh, my mom got this for me when I was a kid. So no idea where it's from. And it's really big, I'd like to update that as well. But dressers are expensive and I'm on a budget. So the dresser's staying <laughs> probably forever, honestly. And then here is my nightstand. I got this from Home Goods a year or two ago. The drawers are really nice. They're quite deep. Um, I just put like random things all throughout. I really like them. I've got like a lot of beauty products and stuff in there. It's really messy, something I wanna organize probably in December. And then this, uh, my mom is also, let, a lot of this stuff is my mom. She's letting me borrow. She has so much Christmas decor, but she got this little, forest last year off of Amazon and then I'm not sure where the plate is but it's really cute and it totally goes with the vibe and then I have my five dollar candle from Starbucks which smells so good I earth from Starbucks oh my gosh why did I say that then I have my five dollar candle from Target which smells so freaking good I can't believe it was only five dollars and it's not super strong either so it doesn't overpower in my small room and then um this is my Versace perfume and my uh, KKW Fragrance Times Kylie Jenner video. I displayed that in there and then this one too. Two of my favorite go-to like holiday and winter perfumes. So they're sitting out because I use them all the time. This bedspread I believe I got from, oh gosh, I want to say TJ Maxx or possibly Walmart. I can't remember. It's kind of old. I've had it for about two and a half years. This is one thing I'd like to update next year for sure. Definitely going to be getting some new bedding um, just because I'm kind of over the pink, honestly. And I want something a little more mature, maybe something like just slightly more modern, something that's like more, you know, I'm going to be 25. So I feel like the pink is just 
not quite where I what I want anymore so we're gonna try to update that and then this pillow is from oh lord jesus my aunt got this for me where is this from I want to say she got this from um either TJ Maxx or like Kohl's or Home Goods. Those are like the places she shops a lot. So it's from one of those places. And then the white snowflake pillow is from Big Lots. And then the woven pillow is from Home Goods. So is the big brown one back there. I really like that one. It's so soft and I like to lay on it. So it's a little bit deformed, but it's a really nice pillow. Um, it's pretty good quality. I've had that for a while too, and it's still not too deformed. So, you know. Then up here is my shelf. I think this is probably my favorite part besides the tree. Um, my mom let me borrow the Santa photo for Christmas this year. And then also the two little trees and the candle holders are also hers. And then I have a glass jar with like battery operated lights, but I think the batteries need changed because it won't turn on. But I'm not sure where any of her stuff is from. I don't know where she got it, but she does a lot of Amazon shopping and home goods. So it's probably from one of those places. And then this shelf was previously like a wood and then I just painted it and distressed it like a long time ago. So and then the two books are from a thrift shop nearby. So well, I'd say that about wraps it up for the Christmas decor this year. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am probably going to make some small changes. So stay tuned for that um, during Vlogmas. But I did just want to show you guys like the overview and show you like where everything was from and how I'm styling my room this year. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for Vlogmas. It's coming up soon and we're going to be doing some giveaways and some really fun things, some collabs. I'm super excited for Vlogmas this year. I've got a lot of fun things planned, even though we are in a pandemic. It's still going to be great. So I hope you guys will subscribe, turn on the bell, follow me on Instagram so that you can stay tuned for the Vlogmas content and for the giveaways. Hope you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.